Hello and welcome. This is a walkthrough on setting up your Zoiper app on your laptop and on a mobile phone using a VoIP carrier. I'll be doing a few of these now that people want to work remotely, so you may as well subscribe to be alerted for future SIP client videos. So first up, we'll open up your web browser of choice and go to Google. And in the Google search, type in Zoipa. Or you can go to zoipa.com. Click on the what should be the first site there, zoipa.com. Once you're in the site, up the top, click on download. Then click on download next to Windows. And click on download under the free column. Or you could pay $4.95. So once you get to the next screen, a pop-up will show up to ask you where do you want to save it. So just hit save file and select the place where you will remember where it is. If you've got it set up like this, otherwise it will um, automatically save for you. And you can hit Control J to uh, open up the download folder. And now we just wait for the download to finish. And a great way to wait guys is to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Really helps me out. And remember, I'll be doing more videos with other VoIP client software in the future as well. So, just to give you a heads up. And this should finish eventually. Okay, done. Now, you have a few options here. You can either click directly on that XE name there, and it'll open up the file and start installing it for you straight away. Otherwise, you can click the folder icon on the right, or you can click Control J, and that'll open up the downloads window. You can click on the folder icon on the right, or you can right click and open up containing folder, or you can just double click on the XE and it'll open up the program straight away. Then you get the program pop up, so you pretty much press next, next, next throughout the install. I'll just close all these other windows, we don't need them anymore. Yeah, so we'll just go ahead and install this program, so hit next. You can read the terms and conditions if you wish. Accept, next, and next. You don't really need to change anything here. Unless you're like me and don't like the desktop icons, you can go ahead and untick that at desktop shortcut icon. Next, and then just leave it default path, next. And install the 64 bit version, which is auto detected anyway, so just hit next next and away it goes so once it's done hit finish and leave that tick so it launches it straight away when it eventually loads you'll get this page all the time asking you to either activate your program or continue as a free user of course, I assume if you do buy the license, you won't get this page anymore. So, continue as free user at this stage, unless you've bought the license. Okay, so once you get this page, up the top right hand corner, you hit the gear icon. And once you're in here, you go to accounts, uh, testing. So it looks like it has remembered the data from when I had it installed before, because I uninstalled it just to reinstall it for you guys. Now, so in the background here in the notepad, you'll notice that there are some VoIP credentials that I'll be using for this test. So I'll go ahead and copy and paste all of them. Just keep in mind, not all VoIP carriers have a domain name for their SIP server. Some of them have it in IP format. So you'll just go ahead and put it in IP format where it says in the domain field. So while you're copy and pasting, just be aware that you don't accidentally copy a space because that obviously won't allow the account to work. So just be aware of that. So now that you've got the necessary fields filled up, you click on register at the top. Don't worry about optional credentials down the bottom, you don't need that. Save change data, hit yes, and it'll pretty much register immediately, located by the green tick. Hit the cross to get out of it and that'll take you straight to the Darling phone page 
and now you're pretty much ready to start making calls as long as your account is enabled to make calls and you've got enough credit or however your plan works now before we start if you do have a headset you might want to make sure it is set up properly so you hit the gear again and down the bottom there you can see it says audio and just make sure you've selected the headset okay so I've got my headset selected and for the input and output so for the microphone and for the speaker got your headset selected you can pretty much hit the X at the top and it'll take you back to the dialing page if you click on video if you click on enable video it'll open up a web browser and take you to the purchase a license page so if you really want video you'll need to purchase a license now if you click on appearance that just changes things with the app I usually don't need to change anything and behavior also changes a few parameters now anything below features you'll need to pay for so there's no point going into there unless you've purchased the license of course then you can go into there and change it as you wish even contacts to have contacts imported you need the license so it's pretty limited it's great for a basic phone and adding another account you need to purchase the license as well but if all you want to do is receive and make calls then this is a perfect app for you it's really easy to use and you can even add manual contacts in there for yourself so we'll just add a test one in there uh, how do you add a number oh okay you gotta add the field so if I just add a random number well I might not add that one just in case it's a real number uh, actually I'll just Maybe I should hide that. Okay, and the way you save it, uh, let's add to favorites. Delete, of course. Okay, so I've clicked outside in that grayed out area and hit yes because it'll ask you if you want to save it. So now, if you click on that contact you just made, it'll have the options to call and down the bottom you got that collapsible arrow that it mentions there so it'll of course have all the upgrade now banners everywhere and if I make a real call and of course I'll have to hide my mobile number so just dial the number as normal and then you hit dial at the bottom testing just put that on mute so I don't get any feedback so up the top you'll see some options if you want to put people on a conference call or video record the call or uh, transfer the call you do have to purchase the pro license so we can make another call that's separate to this one dial my number again so I'm not sure if you can hear that but it's just ringing in the background as a call waiting so I'm just gonna pick it up puts the other call on hold so as you can see you can have two separate calls um, on hold and if you can you can flick between them and it puts the other call on hold automatically you don't have to keep present hold and then pick the other call which is pretty good so just to be clear you can have more than one call on the free license but they're separate calls you can't join them together all right so I'll hang the calls up now so now you'll notice when you select a number that you've dialed it gives you a history of that numbers communication so it's timestamp date stamp I really hope I've uh, blocked my mobile number everywhere, haven't missed anything. Now if you close the program, you'll notice that it still is open down the bottom, so it doesn't actually exit the program. To exit it, you have to right click and click exit. Yeah, you can't right click there, you have to go into the tray, right click, exit, and that actually closes the soft phone. So hitting the X at the top doesn't close it, it still leaves it open. 
Thank you for watching guys, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Now over to the mobile setup. Just for the record guys, I didn't get paid by Zopa to make this video, I just did it to help my customers out and hopefully the whole world as well. So I'll be doing the mobile setup on the iOS iPhone. Unfortunately I don't have an Android with me to do it on there, but I will be doing it soon. So go to the App Store, go to search and type in ZO for Zopa. And once you see it pop up, just click on it. Then click download. I already had it installed on here and I uninstalled it. That's why you saw that funny um, cloud icon. While it's downloading, guys, just hit the like button. It really helps me out. And once it's finished, you click the open. And then you'll get all these pop-ups asking you if you want to allow, just keep hitting allow and OK because you do want to allow it to look at your contacts, microphone, except this bit here. You don't need to pay for the push notification, so just click on do not allow, do not show, sorry, unless you do want to buy the license. If you do want to buy it, then click subscribe, otherwise, click do not show. Okay, so once you're in, down the bottom, click settings, then accounts, then hit that plus sign at the top, and it says, do you already have a username and password? Hit yes, and manual config, and SIP account, and you enter the SIP credentials you can see in the notepad in the background there, like so. So account name can be anything, I just named it test account. Gotta make sure there's no typos as well, guys, obviously. After you do all this and it doesn't work, I suggest coming back here and re-entering everything. Most likely you've done a typo somewhere, especially in the password because you can't actually see it when you type it in. Now I just noticed it's quite strange, The I did type the password in there but with the iPhone screen recording it didn't record the password but you, we can see it as blank here but it, I, I did type it in so just let's not get confused with that. So there is a password in there, it's just the iPhone screen sharing security I guess didn't let it um, show up even though they come up as dots. And then in the caller ID field you just put in the phone number in again. Then you hit register at the top and you can see in orange it says registry. Then okay, now it says okay, so it's registered. So up the top click accounts, stat uh, settings, sorry, and down the bottom hit the dial pad and it says ready at the top. So now when you open up the app, you just got to wait until it says ready in green uh, and then you'll be ready to make a call. Alright, so let's make a test call. So if you just dial any number, call. If I answer that, you can press the mute button if you want to put it on mute. Press it on hold if you want to put it on hold. Okay. Call stats gives you a few bit of stats on the current call you're on. If you're into that, put the call on speakerphone. Oh, low battery. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, so you have the mute option, like I mentioned. Keypad option, in case you need to press any options in an auto attendant. Okay. So they're the limited options you get with the free license. You can't transfer or conference call in or call record. You'll need the permanent license for that. After your first call, you'll get that warning asking you, did you have audio? If you did, just disregard it. If you did not, click the visit. It'll take you over to this web page to troubleshoot the audio issue that you might have before you call your, ca your carrier. So it's a good idea to go through all these settings just to make sure it's not your phone. So we'll go back to the app. So down the bottom you'll see you've got your contacts on your phone. So you can call directly from the app. And history. So whatever, whoever you've called in the past. And also settings. Okay. 
if you do wish to purchase anything in the future you can click on premium features and you can see the price in there basically you just click on it and follow the prompts I think even if you want to activate video you might need the premium license I'm not quite sure uh, let's go back to premium features I can't technically see it say video there ah yes H.264 video codec yes you do need the premium license so you need that 599 license there if you want to use video okay I wonder if we can add a second account on this uh, so far so good yes we do have a password manual zip register seems like you can I don't have another one to do so we'll just uh, get out of it thank you for watching guys please don't forget to like subscribe or share really helps with the YouTube algorithm and getting my video out there. I do enjoy making these videos to help you guys out and hopefully I have. Catch you in the next video. Thank you.